People don't realise what a tattoo can be and what it can mean to, to the wearer until they actually get one. And I certainly didn't understand the power and the influence that it could have on you until I got some tattoos and especially when I started getting tattooed by some of the Māori and Polynesian tattooists with, with patterns that did have this really strong meaning. For me, I, was, I had real confidence issues when I was younger and um, getting these tattoos put on me tended to make me feel stronger inside myself and for me it, it made me so that I couldn't hide myself, I had to just push myself out there and be there and, um, and, and, and not be ashamed of myself or whatever. And I think um, a lot of people are drawn to that side of it. They're, they're drawn, they realise that it is a big um, confidence boost for themselves. And it kind of, for, for me, it sort of, it makes people grow. It can make people move forward in, in themselves. To me, a really important aspect of tattoo is that it is an expression of our links to the natural world. That is like um, the mission statement for what I do. And I've, I've been lucky enough to um, spend time with some amazing artists um, throughout Polynesia and other parts of the world and um, it's given me a deep respect for the traditional tattoo and it's given me um, a sense of obligation towards the integrity of the art form basically. My experience of wearing the tattoos, the, the more traditional tattoos that I've been um, privileged enough to receive over the, over the years, it's been a really gradual learning process for me. It's, um, it's made me think really hard about my own kind of cultural identity and personal identity and my place in the world. And um, having thought about all that, that's, that's something that I would like to be able to pass on to the people that come to me for tattoos. There's a lot of different aspects to the integrity that's needed to, to work in the tattooing field, basically. Um, there's the, the fact that you are marking somebody for the rest of their life, and that the tattoos were designed to bring out that integrity in the individual that's wearing it as well. Um, it's kind of, it's a hard thing to understand until you've experienced it, basically. It's one of those sort of things. and. Um, but it does have that effect on you. The, the, the tattoos have a strong effect on you. I like the simplicity of the, of the black ink um, and the fact that you're working with positive and negative. You've got the bits that are, that are filled black, that are black, and the bits that are just clear skin. And um, with a lot of um, Polynesian style designs, you have black pieces, you have um, line work, which is almost like a halfway in between. It's like from a distance, it becomes like a gray almost, and then the, the clear skin. So it's just a simple balance of positive and negative, basically. And of all the colours, it's the black that is going to last the longest and, and stay the, the truest over time. For me, the, the, pretty much the hardest thing to tattoo, the thing that I shy away from the most is long straight lines. 
for me, I find that's, um, that's the hardest thing to get right. And if you don't get it right, it, it's, it's glaringly obvious. So that's the thing that I find the most difficult. Basically, most of the things that I do nowadays, I draw directly onto the skin. There's some things where I still draw on paper, and that's pieces where, say, someone wants to represent a, a particular animal or, or something along those lines, where if I sit down and try and draw on the day, I might not have that right inspiration, or it's going to take me a long time to get it right, and it's easier for me to work those things out on paper generally. And I quite like working that way as well. But generally, I'm drawing stuff straight on the skin, um, just getting a rough idea. I don't think about it too much before I start. I will start by just drawing some, some lines and just mapping out an area roughly. And basically I try and just let it flow and, and do its own thing as much as possible. I see tattooing as being a, more of a sculptural art form than a, than a pictorial art form. And um, that's what I try and achieve with what I do. I'm not doing traditional tattoos. Like I've had people coming to me, me wanting to get facial tattoos or, or the puhoro on their legs, and I've just said, no, I, I don't do those tattoos. Those, that's proper moko work like that should be done by a properly trained moko artist, and um, I'm not that. What I offer is something more contemporary, more general, and um, I explain that to people, and, and if they're happy with that, then I'll, then I'll work on them, and if not, I'll suggest someone else that they should go and see. I don't know if everyone should get a tattoo. I think, um, I think that everyone could be helped by a tattoo if they got it in the right, um, with the right frame of mind and, and took it seriously and took on board what it actually means to have that tattoo and, and what the patterns are actually signifying and, and what it means. I think it could help everybody, yes.